it's attached. The political system of America has been under direct control of the Lumicorp for some time. It was actually a relatively easy acquisition, and has been even easier to manage. Politicians know of our unspoken agreement, and will do anything to stay in power. A two-party system benefits the Lumicorp, in that it reduces all issues to a black and white debate. Through media, we can play side against side, using each when necessary to support our goals. Due to a diminishing faith in the system among the public, Illumicorp has designed a rogue candidate program to provide a voice for the dispossessed. This disperses the impetus for dissent among those who do not feel represented by our candidates and builds a database of potential dissidents. At the turn of the last century, Illumicorp took a serious interest in public education. Our Supreme Council realized that by creating a private organization to dictate curriculum on a federal level, children could be conditioned to obedience on a mass scale. In the interest of promoting Illumicorp principles in the classroom, hundreds of millions of dollars were invested to create the General Education Board in 1902. The result of doing this is evident today. The doctrines of public education have transformed recent generations into a weaker, more docile mass. Through meticulously planned curriculum, we have control over the process by which the average child learns. Thus, we can mold them into obedient workers who are conditioned to accept the implementation of the great plan. In addition, Illumicorp has set up many associations, including the American Historical Association, that determine and uphold the official view of history. Knowledge is power, so we must at all costs be the authors of the truth. By writing history to suit our interests, dissenting voices cannot gain ground, and we can vastly influence culture to achieve our prime objective. Illumicorp uses the media to shape the public's opinion about current events, and condition desired attitudes about our future agenda. Through news, entertainment, and advertising, we can program a variety of emotions and responses into the collective unconscious. In the past, we were limited entirely to print media, but now we have multiple mediums to utilize in programming and conditioning the masses. With cable news, we have directed the public to a more entertainment-based consumption of world events, infotainment. This medium is far more effective at subliminal reinforcement of desired attitudes towards our objectives. For instance, we are currently instilling a sense of duty towards environmental issues. With our growing control of the weather through harp and chemtrails, we will scare the public into accepting our global protection agendas. We will then phase into the great cleansing which must occur to return the global population to a manageable size. We reinforce the desired norm through advertising, creating a model for people to live up to that is virtually impossible. The result is an incomplete, desperate individual seeking acceptance. Through reality television game shows, we repeat the pattern of individual survival versus group survival. This breaks down the idea of community and breeds individuals who seek only their self-interest. With a public that is constantly suspicious and scheming, we maintain the status quo of a divided population that never thinks to look up. Religion has served its purpose incredibly well. It is the oldest and perhaps the broadest form of social control utilized by Illumicorp. With religion, there is a written code of conduct that must be followed. The authors of the Holy Scriptures knew quite well how to lace that code with commands to maintain their dominance over the population. This system has survived through millennia to hold the flock together and bring us to today. Admittedly, religion is losing its power for control. 
However, the fanaticism that has arisen due to this decline is particularly helpful to Lumicorp. Our invisible influence in the church has helped bring the Christian fundamentalists out of the background. We control their opinions on current issues through policies designed and written right here at Lumicorp headquarters. They are sent to our ministers, who then preach the Word of God and their interpretations of the Bible to their followers. Their blind faith is used to transform them into willing soldiers to defend our cause during the catastrophes ahead. As the final phase is enacted, we will propagate end-time prophecy to convince them of their convictions. The rise of Islamic fundamentalism works to Lumicorp's advantage as a threat that will demand violent action. In the coming years, planned terrorist attacks will warrant a full-scale retaliation and initiate the final phase of the Great Plan. Christians will support our actions since they will believe them to be proof of the end times prophesied by Lumicorp's religious leaders. Now that you have a basic understanding of how we work over here at Lumicorp, I would like to introduce you to one of our latest projects, the Control Grid. Since ancient times, it has been the desire of the Illumined to wield control of the masses below, both to protect us from them and them from themselves. The tools through the ages have been effective, but always blunt and inaccurate. But now, with the release of new technology to the masses, we have the real ability to implement a control grid with finance, industry, government, and military under our strict control. We can safely ship the population into a new world, monitored and controlled by Illumicorp. Technology such as the internet, GPS, and RFID chips are pillars of the invisible prison we are erecting around the people. Within the decade, we will have real ID cards that contain criminal records and pertinent information, all linked to federal databases. Cell phones will tell us where each individual is, linked to the same database. Through intelligence agencies and homeland security, we will monitor individuals who oppose the Great Plan and remove them from the grid. Quickly, the population will learn that they have a choice, support the system and benefit from its luxuries, or reject it and lose access to the grid. Well, that was quite an overview. I hope it gave you an understanding of our process and basic overall structure here at Illumicorp. Don't worry if you can't remember specific details at the moment. Once assigned to your administrative branch, you will be shown the second Illumicorp training module. Your initiate supervisor will brief you on your specific duties at that point. Also, please review your copy of The Great Plan and the attached code word and symbols booklet. You will need to know the ways we communicate internally through public channels. This concludes part one of the Illumicorp video training module. I wish you the best of luck, and may our plan complete in secrecy. The dawn of a new era is on the horizon, and it will shine gloriously over the new world that we have built together.